This is my no bullshit garden. Here you guys can make a Steam profile exactly like mine or any of the ones linked in the Discord below. If you guys have any dramas that I do not resolve in this video, please come feel free to check us out in the Discord. There's plenty of support available. Let's crack into it. If you aren't already Steam level 10 at this point, you'll be required to jump into our Discord and get onto the five free Steam level section of the Discord and just boost yourself through there. If you're not level 10 by that point, you'll be required to craft Steam badges on Steam, which requires trading cards, which you need to buy with real world currency. Unfortunately, I will not be covering that section in this tutorial. Um, feel free to source that elsewhere, but I'm gonna crack straight into the Steam profiles. So now we can navigate over to the Steam profiles section of the Discord, which is this here. Um, this is essentially where all of our Steam profiles are, which you can just simply click into and grab all the attachments and upload for yourself. Um, for this tutorial, I'm simply going to be using this profile here because I already have purple Steam badges on my profile, so it just makes life a bit easier for myself. Um, but yeah, so let's get into that. So once you get your hands on a Steam profile that you actually want to create, you first want to be looking at that total estimated cost and Steam points down here. Um, I would be 100% taking this in consideration before you go choosing a profile because if you can't afford everything in the profile, you're just going to be like, why does my profile look like shit when this one looks sick? So yeah, usually the hefty price tag in all of them is the Dying Light 2 special profile, which I will show you in a second. But let's crack into buying everything else for it first. So background, um, this will say buy now, purchase now. It'll look different on your screen, but I already own everything for this profile. So I'm going to get that one there. Back to Discord, avatar frame. Equip now and special profile. So this is the difference here on the left. This is with that special profile applied. Um, it makes a nine day difference really. Your whole profile just becomes transparent. On the right is just a standard theme. This is something you'll be rocking if you can't afford that 10,000 steam points. So take that into consideration as well. Uh, and then you also need to go to the website to go grab the artwork. So this profile only has one artwork. I will show you how you can upload two as well later. Um, but yeah, download that. And that's everything for the profile acquired. All right, so now that we've acquired everything for that profile, you wanna head over to the browser version of Steam. Make sure you're signed in there. Um, get over to artwork. Uh, I've already uploaded artwork, so it kind of looks a little buggy here. I'm gonna click this white box, not game specific. Uh, you can name this whatever you want. I prefer to use an invisible character for this. I will leave that down in the description below so you can just copy and paste that. Um, and I'll also leave the code that I'm about to put into my inspect element console as well. Yeah, so I've already gone and put in that um, invisible character there. So you wanna go choose file. I'm just gonna choose this one here, um, that latest one that I downloaded. Description, you can just leave empty. Um, artwork, you obviously want that to be public so people can see it. Certify that I created this artwork. And then you want to go um, right click unless you're fancy and you want to use the hotkeys. I'm not doing that. Um, inspect element, console, um, control paste this code again. I will have it on screen and it'll be in the description as well. And just click enter. It'll put a little thing down here. This is not nothing fishy. This is simply removing the restrictions on the dimensions for artwork and steam. Um, and then you can just close that and save and continue. So at this point, Steam will say, yep, your item is awaiting analysis by our automated content checker system and this rubbish. No one cares about that. Um, jump straight into Steam. Uh, you can do this in the browser as well. I'm just doing it for this sake on the, on the application. So if you have, if you download an artwork with two pieces of artwork, you'll need to simulate that whole upload process with the inspect element twice with both images. Then you'll need to make an artwork showcase. If you have two images, artwork showcase, and then you'll upload your large image in the first slot, and then you'll upload your second image, this little bar here in the second slot, and it should appear similar to what I have here. 
if you are doing what I'm doing and you simply have one a large image, you'll need to make a featured artwork showcase and upload that image that you uploaded before. Now, if you've done it correctly, these little bars are your images. Steam just does that once you do the inspect element. Um, I'm gonna take a stab and say it's this one here. Yep, so that's the one there. Um, I'm just gonna push this up to the top for the sake of showing this on the profile. So that's done, save. Go back to your profile and that is done. I just wanted to make a quick mention as well to the people that chose a Steam profile that requires the background to line up with the artwork. If that doesn't line up, your best troubleshoot method, I think, is to go through edit profile. Uh, profile background choose the profile that you're using um, so for me it's purple rays and ensure it's on original size not full screen unfortunately I think full screen looks better but original size is essentially what the artwork was catered for so that's just how it's gonna fit if you go back to uh, after that you got to save as well um, if you go back to your profile and it still doesn't line up I'm going to assume that the inspect element process didn't work properly for you. So I would go back to that step and give it another go. I did want to make a quick mention um, on how to minimize what's actually on your profile. Uh, I'll link the Steam guide below on these privacy settings. Essentially allows you to minimize what is displayed on your profile. Um, how to remove the featured badge as well is in our discord that i was in at the start of the video so make sure you go check that out as well if you wanted to remove that otherwise you can show uh, a featured badge here that is matched to your color i just prefer having it nice and clean there um, but this guide will show you how to remove your friends list there um, your game activity and also how to remove the comments Unfortunately, removing comments requires you to delete all comments that are on your page and then you delete, um, sorry, you make them private after that process. So I'm not going through all 420 comments. I've simply just locked it at 420 and I've just left it there. Now, I've tried to make this guide pretty well as short and as sweet as possible. Um, trying to get under that 10 minute mark. Uh, no one wants to hear a guide talk about fucking Steam artworks all day, so... If you still are running into issues that I haven't covered, feel free to let us know in the Discord. There's plenty of support available in there. If there's still, um, if you still think I'm missing something, there is some extra guides in this Discord that I have linked below. Um, removing that feature badge that I mentioned earlier, the clean and transparent guide. And if you prefer to actually read about uploading artworks, this is also here. Uh, I forgot to mention there is also a common error where you won't be allowed to paste into the console. There is a fix for that in here. Um, make sure if you do have that issue, you come check it out. Otherwise, good luck making your Steam profiles. Cheers.